Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team here with another video for The Division. This is going to be the weekly reset video for the Dark Zone vendors for March 10th, 2017. Let's get right in it. Start right here at the base of operations. Pretty good Scar L. Now I'm going to start, I mentioned this in my other vid weekly video, I'm going to start doing a separate video that will just have the highlighted items for the week. So I'll keep doing both this video and the open world vendors video just like they've been. But I'm also going to do a third video with just my recommendations for the week. So in case you are literally just here for what you think you should be picking up rather than seeing every item, I'll have that video too. That probably won't be out until tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see the open world vendors video, I'll put it at the end of this one. You can just click on it. Pretty good tier duration mod. A lot of little maybe pickups today in the Dark Zone from the Dark Zone vendors. See a good turret health one. They're all very specific to like specific loadouts that you would have. A few pretty good weapons to pick up as well. There's actually a couple of blueprints that were worth picking out a light weight M4 and a surplus SVD. You can check those out in the open world vendors video. But yeah, those are the blueprints. I definitely recommend picking those up this week. Some of those Rhino, crappy Spec Ops, Sport Station. Let's move it over to DZ1 East. Decent AK. There, see, there was a 4 plus 4 Seeker Mind damage. If you have a Seeker Mind build, you can pick that up. Uh, PV-19 is a little weak. At least for me. Decent chest. There you go. There's a firearm skill power mod right there. DZ-2 East. Uh, shitty holster. Secret mind explosion radius. Crappy mag. Pretty okay, Og. 16.1. I want to check that out here at DC East 42nd. DC 3 East. Uh, Shape attack pads. Support station duration. Hopefully for me. To DC 6. Uh, pretty okay armor mask for all healing improved 30% when you're in your last health segment. Right there in DC 6. Now we're going to move to the new Dark Zone vendors. Here in Dark Zone DZ8 and DZ9. I got a separate video if you want to see where all the new Dark Zone vendors are, but also you can just look to the left here. Got them on screen for you. Oh, you'll be back. Eh, kind of okay mask. Crappy chest, crappy bag. And not bad knee pads, you can roll those for something better. Good armor on those knee pads. Decent crit velocity mag. Decent crit chance grip too. And shitty electronics mod. First aid ally heal, but it's only 5%. Honestly, I would not pick that up. i try and roll something better. DZ9 again. Decent firecrest mask for armor. Ah, you'd need two rolls, so I wouldn't pick that up. Get a Hunter's Faith holster. Thousand. I'm sure you'll be back. What else we got? Easy eight safe from now. This increased armor of 50% using signature skills active. Not bad if you're running like a damage boost. Signature skill. You got max armor with that 2003 on that chest piece. Might be worth picking up. Ah, crappy. Firecrest. Okay, Strikers holster. Come on, you're killing me here. Go down to DZ6. Ah, light armor on all three of those. Decent Firecrest armor. Nope. The rest of it sucks. 
on that holster. Crappy quick release, crappy compensator, crappy grip. Decent iron sights, 13.5 stability is not bad. Here you go, firearms and health mod right here in DZ4. 245 and 3200, not bad. Let's take a look at this vector 16.1, competent, determined, and brutal, not bad at all. That's a pretty good vector. How about this carbon? 158, eh, a little light for me. G5. And last but not least, DZ2 safe room. Crappy chests, crappy bag, crappy knee pads, crappy holster. Let's see about these gloves. Gloves are not bad. Ah, eh, the talent's kind of weak. Sure That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out the new emote, too. If you can, go pick it up and go ahead. Game on. Hey. Game on! Yeah, game on!